All right, dudes, I am back. I apologize for being away. I have, again, video games and real life, fatherhood, all of that stuff. But we got some brand new Black Series right here to review with bonus IG-11 from The Mandalorian. Wedge Antilles, First Order Rocket Trooper, Luke Skywalker, Yavin Ceremony, Cara Dune, Mandalorian, and Janna, The Rise of Skywalker. This is a good wave. Uh, with the exception of IG-11 not being a part of this wave. He is a Best Buy exclusive. Uh, it's all humanoid wave. Um, with If you bought a case, Ray and the Sith Trooper are your doubles from the previous wave. Triple Force Friday? Nah. Triple Force rest of the year. Let's dive into these guys. I'm very excited. All right, Luke Skywalker, Yavin Ceremony. So this guy is getting, or was a convention exclusive overseas. So if you've seen the previous convention exclusive, uh, Sith Trooper being the most recent, besides this Luke Skywalker, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, characters like that, they come with extra accessories. That's all that's different. I think the Luke, I think it's called Luke Skywalker uh, Attacks or something like that. It's, it's you know, because Marvel Comics had a run of Star Wars and this is the outfit Luke is wearing uh, since it takes place right after New Hope. Luke Skywalker comes with, I believe, his uh, training helmet with blast shield down, training orb, uh, blast effect, lightsaber. So this one doesn't come with the lightsaber. Uh, maybe one of the Jedi techs and something else. I don't recall, but I don't think he comes with this metal, which is removable. So we'll take that off here. Let's see if I remember how to do all this. All right. This face isn't bad. It's not great, but it isn't bad either. Um, what is another loop with the print tech? Here we go. So this one kind of does look like Mark Hamill. I mean, the hair slicked back. I mean, they all kind of look like Mark Hamill. Um, I don't have the Jedi, Walmart exclusive Jedi Luke Skywalker. Uh, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Um, the other one is Old Man Luke. No, there's no face print tech on that one. So this is it. I do think the original, this is pre-Archive Wave, uh, Luke Skywalker X-Wing. So this is like 40th anniversary version and uh, the original Wave 1 Star Wars Black Series. This was a decent head sculpt. And they kind of blew it with the face print on this one. Um, I don't have them around to compare, but yeah. So Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker. Let's take a closer look. So again, taking a look at Mark Hamill here, Luke Skywalker, his face. Uh, I threw this back on, so sorry for the quick edit. You can see the metal. Pretty good detail. Nice uh, gold. I think we found out in a book or something that Han Solo actually sold that metal. So, excuse me, adjusting the chair. Uh, jacket looks nice. Separate piece, standard fare, you know, separate feet, piece, arms being also uh, separate. So if you were to take this off, he'd, he'd have this black top on with these, uh, the jacket to these arms. Wouldn't be a cool look. Uh, I'm sure this means something. He's got his blaster, which uh, this was pegged in earlier, but let's just take this out so you can see it. Pretty cool. Now, I don't know if this is what he uses in the comics, because uh, most other Luke Skywalkers come with uh, his other blaster. So, what is it, the DL-44? Similar to Han. All right. Brown pants, similar to Solo again. Uh, boots, you know what, is he borrowing clothes from Han? I never realized how similar these were standard issue like a uh, rebel wear or something but next to han he's a good height i'm tripping out i never realized luke's boots and pants were identical to han fantastic good gloss on the boots nice brown on the pants again the jacket very uh very good man this figure is awesome and seeing as uh, how many adventures he went on in the Marvel comics with this outfit, this is this is going to be a lot of people's uh, adventure in Luke. So, nice buckle. It's almost similar to what he's wearing in Return of the Jedi. But 
Your hair looks good, nice wash over it. Again, the Mark Hamill face, decent enough. So again, no lightsaber that comes with the exclusive, um, but if you have every Luke released prior to Return of the Jedi, you should have plenty of lightsabers to choose from. So Luke can look up that far, down this far, and mind you, uh, as with most uh, modern black series, at least in the male figures, uh, there's movement at the bottom of the neck, base of the neck, and at the base of the skull. So, pretty awesome. Arms go out that far, which leaves this weird ball here. So be careful with that. Full rotation, no bicep cut at the jacket. Single jointed elbow with, looks like, uh, decent enough range. Is it, how much tiltage can we get? Not much tiltage off of this diaphragm some some forward i don't know you're gonna need to rely on his legs for that speaking of they can go out this far there's a thigh cut uh, here too but again uh like most most characters with oh, why can't i think of it's not a bandolier what is it uh my mind's trying to blank i'm sorry brain fart it's late um double jointed knees you can see wow Really great movement there. Uh, do we get a boot cut? No, we don't get a boot cut because of how high the boots go, but you get a terrific angle pivot. So someone will obviously correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are all the Luke Skywalkers Black Series released so far. Um, and a lot of them have horrible, horrible face sculpts, unfortunately. Again, I think this one's really good. No print. It's just good paint, good sculpt. Uh, decent enough, though. Uh, again, I don't think the Stormtrooper one is too bad. I really dislike the Farm Boy Luke. Um, I don't think the soft goods really worked on that. I'd, I'd like to see a redo with uh, plastic. Uh, Old Man Luke with a casting cave head, which is a must-get. Look at that. Hoth Luke with this dumb little cloth goods. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be, which doesn't hang low. The hideous Bespin Luke there. God, that head sculpt is awful. And of course, Jedi Luke with uh, too dark of brown hair. And uh, yeah, just not that great of a head sculpt either. So many Luke Skywalkers. Uh, you know, but I think they're on the right track. And I think it's safe to say, given that we're getting another Jedi Luke, you know, depending on where you're at in the world, you either have it or you don't. Um, it might be safe to say we may see another farm boy, another Hoth, and another Bespin Luke. Uh, I think Bespin Luke is hard to come by, so hopefully we'll see him in the archive wave. I'm just ho I'm hoping they don't just use the print tech on this existing sculpt because it isn't a good sculpt. Um, you know, a lot of times, a lot of Black Series, the sculpt is there, and it's the paint that's cheap. Uh, well, maybe this. Is okay. I don't know, man. I'm torn. Uh, oh, you know what? We are getting a Bespin Luke. I think that's what won the fan vote. Uh, While well, we're getting the training, Jedi training, so a sleeveless look, Luke, um, which they can just slap some arms on, and uh, yeah, the new head. So let's compare him to other characters from Star Wars. So here's Luke with Han and Chewie. Uh, yeah, this is, I know we just got this one. Uh, this is another one that needs a new head, uh, but let's throw in this Han with the real scan. Pants and Boots Brothers. Dude, even the shirt is kind of the same. This is probably like ancient news to all you, like hard, the hardcore Star Wars fans. Look at that, it folds over the same. His is just black, his is just white. We both got jackets on, uh, which aren't similar, but pants and boots. It's crazy to me, crazy to me. I'm telling you, it must be uh, just standard Rebel wear. Yeah, looks good next to Chewbacca. Uh, can't wait to get the new Chewbacca with 3PO, Amazon exclusive. Uh, but yeah, that is Luke Skywalker. So again, two versions, standard, out now, and uh, fan channel exclusive, again, with more stuff. Um, if I get that, I probably wouldn't open it, but that's just me. All right, let's move on. All right, Wedge and Tilly's played by Dennis Lawson, uh, Ewan McGregor's uncle in real life, coincidentally. You know, so I know there's a lot of complaints let me adjust the camera real quick 
that the fan vote was a, a Jedi training Luke Skywalker, which is basically nearly a Bespin Luke Skywalker. Um, people voted for Wedge, people voted for Lobot. Um, so, you know, they threw us a bone. Maybe Wedge was always in, in the running, but, you know, they gave us this Wedge. But they could have done it sooner if they were just going to reuse the same body, which is what they did. Now, granted, I don't recall how tall Wedge is compared to Luke, but most everybody else was taller than Luke in Star Wars. So I'd imagine Wedge is a little taller. But you know what? This is a welcome addition. Uh, we need more Rebel pilots. However, that's we don't need to reuse this again. You know, Jack Parkins. Uh, I can't even think of Hobby. Uh, yeah, but... Let's get a look at this Wedge Antilles up close. And you know what? I It's it's a pretty good. But again, are you familiar with an unmasked or unhelmeted Wedge? I'm not too familiar. Uh, I know we've seen it. He's been in the movies. Uh, I just don't remember it. He's not a character. I mean, I remember Wedge, but this is how you remember Wedge. That's how you remember which. And this looks good, actually. I just, just seen the mouth. Hoo That got him. Helmet looks good. Look at that. It's grimy. It's got great print. It's got his blaster. It's Wedge and Tilly's once a member of the Imperial Academy, similar to Han Solo uh, in many ways, actually. I think he's from Corellia, just like Han. He joins uh, the Empire, just like Han. And then he uh, defects from the Empire just like Han. So, I mean, that was Han's plan all along, was it? I think Han just kind of went AWOL with uh, Beckett, but this guy defected. If you watch Star Wars Rebels, there's a whole arc on it, and uh, Wedge is there, great TIE fighter pilot. But here he is, fighting for the Rebellion. I was about to say fighting for us, as if I'm part of the Rebellion, but uh, in this day and age, I just might be looking good. So we've seen this before. Not much newness to go over. But again, Dennis Lawson, Wedge and Tilly's looking great. Get this helmet off. Similar to Luke, it was cast in this yellow plastic and they just painted around it, which, I mean, again, look at these prints. Look at the grime, look at the detail. They did a great job. These helmets are excellent. And again, back to the face, since that is the only new piece. Uh, so with these prints, you can't, okay, see? That wasn't a mole. You know, Natalie Portman, Padme has moles. Certain actors have moles. I, was, I thought he, maybe he had a mole. I didn't, I didn't, wasn't aware about, but nope, scrape that off. And if it was a mole, then I screwed, screwed up, but I doubt it. No real detail in the hair, just a nice brown. Not a clean cut there. So there's some excess plastic around the jawline. Yeah, man, looks good. Let's see if there's any other, uh, different pieces uh he i mean even the chest plate is painted the same and maybe it's supposed to be and the only real difference is supposed to be height and helmet but these guys look great together man so that is wedge antilles let's move on so we'll be seeing her very shortly on the 12th uh what is that next week geez that's next week dudes i cannot wait so former uh Member of the Rebellion, I believe, right? I mean, granted, she has the Rebel tattoo on her face. I don't know if you could see that there. Look at that. So not real crisp when you zoom in because of the tech is basically a dot. But this looks like Gina Carano. Is that her name? She is, she is nice. So you may have seen her in Deadpool. She was an American Gladiator. Um, among other films that I have not seen. But she's looking awesome. Look at this, man. This looks like a classic trilogy character for sure. And Mandalorian takes place right after uh, Return of the Jedi, I believe. Nice armor here. Shoulder pads with some wear. Tattoo on her bicep there. These gloves looking grimy. These wrist guards. Belt. Separate piece here, pistol in there, fits in nicely. Uh, so I saw someone say this knife 
is supposed to, I don't know. I mean, I see the gap and you don't see it in the other thigh. And granny, you could turn, turn this around, but I mean, it works, right? Look at that. You know what? I'm going to give it to him. I believe it was the guy from the Fouge, K. Wetman. I, I could be seeing your IG name wrong and I apologize, but good call. It works, I think. So, and it didn't even bend the blade. Look at that. It's a good little blade. Decent, fits in her hand nicely. Looks like it's made for this hand specifically, given the way she's holding things. So, she also comes. Well, let's take out the pistol. So I don't know if we've seen this before. You guys let me know. You experts of the Star Wars armory. Fits in nicely. Almost every character in this wave comes with some sort of a hip holster. Here's our other weapon. Heavy duty, man. This looks like something that could be in our world. Uh, yeah, double barrel. Can this come off? It looks like it could come off. Nope. This does come off. It really doesn't stay on very well. It just kind of plugs into the stock there. Is that what that is? Stock? Bump stock? I don't know. You you tell me. But yeah, heavy duty. She holds it really well. Uh, I'll get a, a shot of her holding it right now. But yeah, look at that. Back to the face. Looking good. This is one of the more softer face prints. Uh, a lot of them are glossy as of late. Look at that braided hair. So there's no detail, additional detail in the hair, but the sculpt is nice, man. Look at every, all the parts. The hair drapes over, rests nicely on her shoulder. And a little separate bang there. Eyebrows are on point. Awesome, man. Awesome. So Kara can look up that far down. And she also has the, the neck articulation we spoke of and we see nowadays uh movement at the base of the neck movement at the base of the skull so full you know you can get full 360 if you'd like uh let's see how this works man so this isn't a soft plastic so that's it you could be that guy and that's as far as i'm going to go because i don't really want to ruin these shoulder pads no bicep cut single jointed elbow wrist up down stuff uh i forgot to check luke's wrist didn't i i'll add that in good diaphragm some decent tiltage look at that that's what i'm used to seeing this one go up and down up and down all right legs about that far full this is a hard plastic as well so it can be hindered Back again, not too far. Nice thigh cut, double, look at that. And as you saw earlier, good boot movement. Awesome. Pivots and full rotation, fantastic dude. So really quick, here's a shot of her holding her uh, heavier weapon. Looks good. Gives me some Zarya vibes from Overwatch. Are her feet too small for her body? I don't know. Now that I'm bending her around, I feel like she's proportioned. Like, her legs just taper down. I don't know. She looks fine, though. Let's get her next to some other Mandalorian figures. So here she is, Cara Dune with the Mandalorian in IG-11. The three of them look so badass together. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know what else to say other than how hyped I am for this, uh, TV show. God, they look great together. So hopefully she's introduced in the first episode. If not, we're going to have to wait a week or more. Same with IG-11, uh, which is we believe is Taika Waititi, Pedro Pascal, Gina Carano. I could be saying her last name wrong, but there you go. This is focused. All right. So really quick jumping out of the regular uh, wave 23, 24. Uh, taking a look at the Best Buy exclusive IG-11. Here he is. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, we've seen this figure before. He's basically IG-88. So I guess the IG series of uh, droids aren't necessarily different from model to model. I don't know what the number at the end indicates. You know, I don't know if 11 is the 11th model or the 11th one out of the manufacturing line. And IG-88 came later. So IG-11 is older. I don't know. I do not know. But let's take a look at this guy up close. Oh man, what do I do? Start calling things out what I presume or like eyes and, and stuff like that. So uh, the head is a drink that is found or a container that is found in the cantina reused for for this character in Empire Strikes Back. It's got a crossover bandolier, which looks awesome. Look at that. Looks like leather. It's painted nicely. It's got these nice bronze uh, accents there on his shoulders, or what would be his shoulders. Painted a little differently than IG-88, although the weapons are the same. Again, that could be standard issue for the IG uh, assassin droids. Yeah, we have seen this figure before. IG-88. No, IG-11. IG-88. So this is the archive IG-88. I prefer to... Uh, it's paint over the original. I mean, you got an IG, uh, if you got another IG-88 and you could throw some other bandolier on there and just pretend it's IG-4, IG-27. So have some fun with that. Uh, there are IG assassin droids that aren't necessarily uh, part, you know, or, or bounty hunters, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but... Let's take a look at his, I've never reviewed one of these. Uh, so you may be familiar with the articulation, but I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly take a look at the head there. So you're rotating there. Shoulders are, uh, so there's a little ball inside of this. Something fell off camera. No bicep. There is movement up top here which isn't necessarily hindered by this bandolier, so that's kind of awesome. Even still, the bandolier can just move around with him. Oh, what? I just noticed he can store a weapon. So that's awesome. So these little rubbery parts are known to, to deteriorate. I guess the original release of IG-88, which I need to take a look at mine. It's been bagged away, though, so it should be fairly well. Um, yeah, so there's a joint in there. And uh, yeah, this plastic has been known to rot away. And we got a rotation there at the would-be elbow. Oh, I love reviewing droids, guys. Oh, I just dropped his weapon. Let's take it out. Uh, what else do we got? Got anything down here? Nope. So that, that. Uh, no out. Just forward. Back. Be careful. You may snag this off, so... You can only go back so far. This one doesn't look like it's hindered by anything. So you get some good forward and back there. You do get thigh cuts. Again, be careful because it could be hindered by these wires. Knees, let's take a look here. Okay, there we go. Pretty sweet. I need light, man. I don't think I'm getting any light on this and I apologize there we go and a pivot no pivot sorry just a forward and a back no pivot so I mean you don't need one his legs can't really go apart yeah this bandolier doesn't look removable so you might have to do some slicing so what could this store I mean it can it looks weird. This seems more awesome. I don't know. What do you think? What would you store there? What are you going to store there? Uh, and if you haven't seen the way he holds his weapons, uh, there is a hole and a peg. So it just kind of plops right in and it does the job pretty well. Same thing here. Whole, whole job pretty well. Let's bring Mando back out real quick. Aw, 
awesome. Cannot wait for more. You know, we're due for a new, uh, I guess, who knows how far into the season, but this ends up being all silver. I don't know if it's because he gets more money and can upgrade his armor, but yeah, silver, silver, silver. I don't know about the rest and a cleaner helmet. So I'm ready. Ready for another Mandalorian, guys. Let's move on. Let's jump into Janna. Now let me stop and think. So Ray, Kylo, Sith Trooper. Technically, I guess the First Order Trooper. Uh, and I guess Janna would be our fifth Rise of Skywalker figure. Plus we got 3PO with Babu Frick. Out now in some target locations. November 10th uh, for those who... For those targets that don't break street dates. But the Rise of Skywalker collection is growing. So let's take a closer look at Janna. Janna. There's one of those with a shiny face, but it is a beautiful face. Look at that sculpt. Look at the hair. My God, that's great. Great detail and texture work on that hair. Face again, beautiful, just like the actress. I forget her name, but... I don't know why I'm doing this with one hand. I have two. This cape drapes over nicely. Looks like a little makeshift cape. Uh, made by different different pieces of fabric. That could be like a raincoat type of material. I don't know. The straps there. Armrest. Some detail on these uh, goggles up there, which aren't transparent. So, who knows? They could act like uh, the binoculars you see in Star Wars. Look at the silver paint and detail here on this, uh, I don't know if it's a strap, yeah, or it's just the ends of this outfit. Got a white undershirt. Look at this, looks like it's made of some type of wood. Same with the bow. Uh, I don't know what the weapon's called. She has this interesting, it looks like a bandolier, man. Kind of like a pirate weapon. A bandolier, no, what is it called? Uh, a blunderbuss, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and I don't know if it goes in this way. I just figured she would pull it out with her left hand. But yeah, look at that, it looks rad. Definitely haven't seen this before. Leave that out. Take a look at the bow and her arrow. So the arrow kind of just slides into this thing, which is nice. Um, a lot of bow and arrow on action figures are just kind of hard. A pink Ranger comes to mind, any Hawkeye, although Marvel Legends uses those thick plastics for strings. So given that this is Star Wars, this may not rely on a pullback method, just kind of an aim and shoot, like Chewie's crossbow shoots lasers. It doesn't really, isn't really a bow at all. So. Again, let's take a look at this arrow. Not detailed at all. She does come with a quiver. With what appeared to be three separate arrows, but they're all one piece that sit in there nicely. Looks very uh, homemade, makeshift quiver. Back to Jenna. Her holster, belt, whatever this may be. Tail goes around, strap on her leg, pants, uh, the wrinkles look great as if the pants are super tight and yeah, look at that, capris and these nice uh, sandal-like shoes on her. Gorgeous looking character, so gorgeous figure. Details really great on this. Um, I guess we'll take a look at her articulation. So because she's basically I won't say bare necked, but you know, you could from head to her chest. Uh, we don't get that. We just get movement here at the, t at the base of the, of the head. Arms do go out that far and you don't get a big weird ball like you're getting on Luke, you're getting on uh, Ray from the previous wave. Decent, oh, that looks a little weird. It's decent enough. Does it look weird there too? Yeah. And that's because it, it it's like on a weird swivel hinge, you know what I mean? It's a hinge, but it's not like dead center, so you, you see the disc. Where's, there we go. 
that's where some decent tiltage combined with bending of the legs out this far forward that far back decent amount thigh cuts double jointed knees all of these have really great range of motion on their knees uh no no cut there but of course you're gonna get pivot hinge swivel pivot Here's Jana. Some rumors about who she is. I won't say them here, but it seems like Finn takes a liking to her, or they end up together, working together. Uh, with the other Resistance member, assuming she joins the Resistance. I don't know, know nothing about that movie. But man, look at these, we've come a long way, man. Black Series faces have come a long freaking way. Awesome. Quick and dirty. Janna. Great figure. Pick her up. And last but not least, the First Order Jet Trooper. This helmet is awesome, man. This almost looks Sith-like. If it was painted black, this would make a sick Sith helmet. But yeah, this figure is awesome. Look at this jetpack. Really cool. I don't know if that's just the symbol of the jet troopers uh there's a sith version of this too uh which is you know what i think i have that so there we go i sound terrible not even being 100 percent sure if i have this or not but it looks like the sith uh troopers get a sith jet trooper as well you know at this point it makes me wonder if Palpatine just takes over their army. Like, yo, your army is just Sith troopers now. There's no, excuse me, sorry about that. There isn't, like, already a Sith army. Like, he just turns these guys, upgrades their armor, and basically hijacks that army. I don't know. Speculation just came to mind right now. So, here we go. Sith trooper. Let's look at that armor. Different chest. Arms might be similar to the First Order Stormtrooper. That weapon looks awesome. Oh my, it's like triple barrel. The scope. Uh, I don't think we've seen this before. Let me know if we have. It does. Uh, well, there's nothing there to clip it into the leg, but he's still, since this is probably a, uh, I don't, you know, I don't even think this is trooper thighs. No, it's not. They're different thighs, but yet he still has. Maybe when they re, you know, the inevitable re-release uh, and repaint for a Sith version with a new helmet with the ridges, we'll have a weapon that fits in there. So let's take this off of him. Take a look at the legs again. So yeah, this is different from the clone. Ah, I keep saying clone from the stormtroopers. Kind of a flat edge here on the thighs and the shin. Looks awesome nonetheless. And I love this. So this looks like this is a piece of armor that drapes over standard Stormtrooper armor. I don't know. But again, I'm loving this helmet. The lines are clean. Look at that. This is awesome. Wow, look at that range of motion. Up that far, down that far. Is his neck moving? Yeah, we get that neck movement there too. The base of the neck, base of the skull. So there's some good... You can have some good dead troopers. Really, really uh, exaggerate. That's awesome. Arms out that far. As you can see, the shoulder pad kind of goes into the body there. No butterfly. Up and around. No bicep. He's got those good bends that we were uh, needing badly up until they improved them recently. Diaphragm, great diaphragm. So again, it's probably so you can get good flight poses out of this. You know. That looks awesome. Uh, this plastic though looks kind of like a, a dingier white compared to the rest of the armor here. So I think it's just a type of plastic they use. It's not as vibrant as the helmet, as the arms, as the legs. Uh, or that's just the way it is. Maybe that's how it is, who knows? Out this far, thigh cut, 
forward not too far. You gotta avoid this clashing with uh, the belt there. So you get that much, that much. As we continue the awesome double jointed knee bend with this wave. And of course, pivot and hinge and swivel and all that good stuff. This guy's awesome, man. I want to army build this. So I didn't pick up the carbonized. Uh, the only carbonized one I got was Mandalorian. Wasn't interested in these variants since they're not in the show, movie, or video game. But yeah, he looks great. Let's get some other troopers in here. All right. Stormtrooper, Jet Trooper, Flame Trooper, and Snow Trooper. All First Order, all uh, theoretically sleeker designs from the Empire, but these look awesome together. Um, let's be real, they'll probably be in the movie for all but three seconds, but I hope these are easy to come by and are packed in future waves so we can army build. So... All right, that is it, friends. Um, God, what a good time to be a Star Wars fan. So much good stuff coming out. You've seen, you know, I've been saying we need more Jedis, getting Kit Fisto, Kit Fisto, Plo Koon, uh, Episode 2, Obi-Wan, and Anakin, Count Dooku, Battle Droids, just waiting for that Jar Jar, and we're set, man. Lots of great stuff. This, I believe, is the last. So again, Babu Frick, C-3PO, Target Exclusive. Chewbacca, C-3PO, Amazon exclusive. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Spirit Yoda, Walmart exclusives. Uh, Clone Commander Obi-Wan, uh, Walgreens. And this wave should be it for the rest of the year. So I think the next waves come out in spring of 2020. So you guys have time. Stock up, buy your Marvel Legends, buy your Star Wars Black Series, buy your uh, Power Rangers, whatever. Whatever it is you collect. Again, sorry for the lack of videos, but hopefully this one uh, will, will tide you over, man. There's still some video games coming out. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order next week. Uh, playing Luigi's Mansion right now. Still playing Borderlands 3. Playing some uh, After Party. Check that out. I got a buddy who was an artist on that. Fantastic game. And yeah, collect toys, play video games. Click a uh, little notification bell. Click subscribe like the video, share the video, uh, all that good stuff. I appreciate you. Thank you.